privacy alert. Who's watching your children? First on five security video at a local daycare goes global and they might, may not be the only ones. Police tell our Nick Barris it's a growing concern, concern involving potential voyeurs as far away as Russia. Murfreesboro police can only do so much in a case like this. We're talking about computer technology and a website in Russia. They say they may call the feds in to help. It's a serious thing, the security and privacy of children at Stonebrook Day School in Murfreesboro. We're not in the IT business. We're in the business of taking care of children. To that end, owner Rick Smith set up a video security feed allowing families to watch their children. Many daycares provide a similar video service, but Smith, after receiving an anonymous tip from a viewer in Arkansas, says no more. I walked over to our web servers and I pulled the plug. Then Smith called the police. In this particular case, this Russian website was displaying a live video feed from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, from a daycare here in our city limits. Sergeant Kyle Evans says someone accessed the daycare's live feed. It ended up on a site based out of Russia. Anyone could watch the kids just about anywhere. It certainly raises red flag. Sergeant Evans says it's a concern, but not necessarily against the law. Sites like this one claim to legally access video feeds from all over the world. This video feed provides an inside look at a, at a hangar here where you have uh, multiple planes. This clip shows the inside of a hot tub factory. In this case, you have a real-time uh, video feed from a barbershop. Sergeant Evans says Stonebrook did the right thing, immediately shutting down the feed. Others may soon follow suit. Smith says he takes no chances with the safety of the children, and he says there's no sure way to secure such video feeds. We could go ahead and get newer servers, and I promise you, within six months, There'll be people that know how to hack into those servers. The bottom line is there may be no crime to prosecute here, but police say people need to be aware that unsecured video can be tapped into online. In Murfreesboro, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thanks. Now, Smith says he regrets pulling the video feed, and he wants parents to know he'll restore it if he can be convinced it will remain secure.